Welcome to the TAF Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by TAF Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the TAF Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Hi everyone, welcome again to another episode of The Tough Hub. Uh, the Tough Hub is um, um, an advocacy program uh, that we bring to you First, we started with real estate, but now it's different. Um, we just want to showcase the best of Gambia so people can learn from it, not only Gambians, but wherever you are in the world and you are watching this program. My name is Mustafa Njai, a.k.a. Taf, and I'm here with the hosts, <laughs> and I'll allow her to, ex to, 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 to introduce herself. I don't think I'm ready to wear the cap yet. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much. My name is Maria Makuli, and I'm always excited and happy to be on this platform, the Tough Hop. Uh, do always follow us on our uh, YouTube channel. Remember to always uh, subscribe on the channel as well. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. So today we're here uh, with someone who is within the group. And um, as we always do, we'll just quickly allow him to uh, introduce himself. Welcome. Um, thank you very much for that beautiful welcoming. And it's a pleasure to be on your platform once again. My name is uh, Memodula Menisise. I am the sales manager, TAF Africa Global. Mm -hmm. I have been with the company since November 2017. After over a decade of um, uh, experience in hospitality industry in different hotels in the Gambia and also in the United Arab Emirates, I later joined the real estate industry after successful completion of my real estate studies in Dubai Real Estate Institute and served in the real estate industry in Dubai, worked with uh, condo properties for over two years, and then later joined TAF in November 2017 as um, head of sales and marketing. Until recently, due to growth and size of the company, uh, we decided to have the marketing department and the sales as separate departments. So basically, this is just a brief uh, intro. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much once again. Nice. Now, briefly tell us some of your responsibilities as sales manager. Right. Um, my role as a sales manager is quite diverse, but just to name a few or to be precise on it, I manage a team of about eight sales advisors, mm -hmm. and our main functions are to sell top houses and all the top services. But not only to sell houses, we also advise our customers based on their needs and make recommendations. This is um, key among the several things that I do. I also prepare the uh, uh, annual and monthly sales target for all the sales rep and prepare reports for the management and forecast just to see where the company's position is in terms of sales or in terms of revenue. Mm -hmm. And also I coordinate uh, all the uh, mortgage or sales activities with our uh, partner banks. Just to name a few, uh, this is just some of the things that I do on a daily basis. Thank you. Okay, now, now can, you, can you please um, uh, just uh, describe, describe the uh, sales process? Uh, you know, so somebody is interested in a, in a tough property. Um, uh, just probably take us through what is the process uh, um, in, in acquiring or making a sales, you know, in tough. Oh, thank you very much for that beautiful question. Um, 
How the sales process starts is that TAF is offering a range of properties in different locations. And what we do, or oh, in terms of properties that we have now, we have from service plots, two, three, and four bedroom houses. It's a range. It is important for one to be able to choose from what you want, be it an investor or an end user. You will have to determine your choice of property and also the location. These are key things that are very important as to your budget. This is why we are here as a salesperson. When we have a, con a conversation with you, we try to know what, what your needs are and we tailor-made your, I mean, tailor-made to facilitate whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So first thing that one need to do when you, need, uh, when you want to acquire a property from TAF is that you will first have to identify a property, then a location in terms of your budget as well, what is affordable for you, and then from there, we normally conduct a side viewing. We take you around to these properties for you to see. We don't want to rely on pictures or photos. Sometimes they can be deceiving. But we take you around to these different properties so that you can have. For example, somebody can come and say, oh, I need a three bedroom, thinking that I, there is only one three bedroom. Mm -hmm. No, we have several three bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So we give you those options for you to have a look. You, have, you can make, make a better or an informed decision. That is first step. Once you've identified that process, then the next thing will be, we will have to choose from the different payment options that we are offering. Either you want to do a cash payment, or you want to do a stage payment, or you want to go for the mortgage. These are uh, things that one need to choose from. And after deciding on what you want to do, we will then let you fill out a reservation form. Once a reservation form is completed, then a sale agreement is drafted, which both parties will have to sign. If you have any observations on it, of course we are open to it. This is why we call it a draft. First we send that to you, you go, you review it, you know, and then upon satisfaction, then you can sign, then we will sign and we both have our copies. Then the final part of the sale will be a payment is effected. A payment is effected to a tough account. So normally we wouldn't accept bulk cash. The transactions that we do, the volume is big. So we would uh, require our buyers to go and make the payments to our various bank accounts that we have, either international or local. Mm -hmm. So to, um, to be precise, these are some of the key things that one need to uh, to, to, to take to acquire a property from TAF. Now, I know payment plans are very important when it comes to acquiring a land. Uh, what types of payment plans do you guys have available? Yeah, currently we are offering three different payment plans. Mm -hmm. The first one being outright in the local, you can call it cash buying, and you enjoy some discount in it. The second payment option is called the stage payment. Stage payment is done according to the progress of the building. Remember, most of the houses that we are doing are on off plan. So upon signing the agreement, we will require you to make a payment of about 50% of the contract sum. And then when we get to a certain level, like the rental level, we will require you to make 20%. And then when we get to roof level, you will make another 20%. Upon completion, you make the final payment. And normally, this is between a period of six months to 12 months, or within a year, to, to be precise. The third payment option that we are offering is the mortgage. TAF Africa Global is partnering with some local banks and these local banks are offering up to 75% financing to qualified buyers who are interested to buy tough properties with only a 25% down payment. And then the rest can be spread to 120 months or 10 years. So these are the three different payment options that we are offering at the moment. 
Oh, that's yeah. great. Now, yeah. now um, um, can you emphasize the, the process that people go through, you know, um, uh, when, when, when they want to buy on mortgage? Uh, because it's, it's quite common now. Yes. Uh, people buy their properties, you know, uh, through the banks that you have said. Yes. And I think it will be, it'll be fair to interested buyers uh, to just take them through, yeah. through the process of how do they, do, they, do they acquire a mortgage when interested in a property. All right, this is a very important question, um, and I think uh, you will let me, or you will allow me to talk more on it. Yeah, take your time. Yes. Um, mortgage is quite important. Uh, it involves two, two steps, to be precise. Mm. All right, once somebody identifies his or her choice of property, mm -hmm. the next part is the paperwork uh, processing. In here, first one needs to establish a bank account mm -hmm. and then the mortgage proper. So some of the requirements that one will be qualified is you must either have a registered business or you must be a confirmed employee. If you are a registered business person, your business should not be less than six months. We will require you to uh, provide a business registration certificate mm -hmm. and a most recent six months bank statement of the business. This will give the bank the opportunity to see the performance of the business mm -hmm. as compared to the property that you are applying for. Because remember, there is a monthly payment. Mm -hmm. If, for example, your business is not producing enough for your monthly payment, obviously they will, you, will not, you, you will not be qualified for it. So these are some of the things for business people. And then you have, uh, uh, you got to also provide your proof of address, wherever you are. Key important thing in this, it's not only Gambian, or it's not only if you are a resident of Gambia. Oftentimes, as a sales manager, I get questions from customers or clients or prospects that, but I'm not in the Gambia, how can a bank loan me? Mm -hmm. There is no discrimination in it and it doesn't matter where about in the world one is. As long as you meet the terms and conditions of the mortgage. So I've just mentioned the business people and in terms of employees, what we will require from you is your proof of employment confirmation, mm -hmm. your most recent three months salary slip. Your most three months, uh, recent three months salary slips will also determine your earning and then your proof of address. So these are three things that one need for the mortgage proper. In terms of account opening, like I said, step one is account opening process. Mm -hmm. Step two is the mortgage proper. And both processes in terms of paperwork, everything is processed by staff, sales staff. Um, what you will then do, we have mortgage assessment forms. If you are able to get all these documentations now, mm -hmm. we provide you then the mortgage assessment forms. Some of the mortgage assessment forms will be a pre-qualification the um, customer loan request form. Of course, you will have to have a written request later, address it to the, the managing director or to the bank. Mm. And then some other documents. These are some of the things that one will need to complete. You know, and then you submit it along with the supporting documents that I just mentioned here. Mm. You know. And then once this is done, the next stage of the process is you will need to provide your equity. Mm -hmm. Your equity has to be deposited. I want to make some clarifications here. Some customers feel the deposit is coming to tough. No, you are not losing. You are not losing anything. It's, we are opening an account for you. The deposit that you are making or the 25% equity that you are making goes to your account. Mm -hmm. It's not to tough's account 
or it's not to the banks. And the banks will only, only move those funds to TAF after completion of the mortgage process. If one is approved for the mortgage, you will have to sign two agreements. One will be the bank will love to see an existing or an executed sale agreement between the buyer and TAF. Once that is done, that the next thing will be the bank will also sign an offer letter with the customer. The customer will have to accept the terms and conditions of the bank and after which then the bank will move the phones, start moving the phones to have. Um, it can be, if it is an off plan, there are, there are like uh, stages. You know, we, the bank will phone the, uh, do the financing based on the progress of the building. Mm -hmm. If it is a complete house, of course, the bank will likely do almost the whole payment. But in, 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 for an off plan, they will do disbursements as per milestone, whatever as achieve. So for customers you have who are living outside the Gambia and they want to benefit from the mortgage, do you work with international banks or is it same, is it, is it same banks that you're working with in the Gambia that they're going to be working with? They're going to be working with the local banks. Okay. Yeah. But some of facilitate Yeah, we product. facilitate everything for them. And some of these banks, uh, uh, we are partnering with uh, Trust Bank, Gambia Limited, mm -hmm. GT Bank, Gambia Limited, and Echo Bank, Gambia Limited. These are the three banks that so far that we are working with. Okay. Now that's interesting. And Thank then, uh, what is the after sale services available for your customers? Because, you know, when, when a customer buys your property, either a land or a finished building, uh, do you just let them go and say, we're done with you? Or is there another service that you provide? It's a completely different thing with TAF. It's a process. It's a whole process. Remember, TAF is offering a five-year structural warranty to each house that they sell. All right? We're also offering a one-year defect liability. So the major part of the job is after the sale. You got to make sure that once customer move into their properties, they have been looked after. Mm -hmm. There are issues. You know, a new house, sometimes little snacks can come in there. And then you being the sales advisor, you serve as the ambassador between the company and them mm -hmm. and, the, and the clients. So you always have to make sure that you uh, make a close contact with them during this period. Mm -hmm. If they report any snack, you make sure we have a maintenance team or a snack team that will be there to fix those things. And also we, with, with, the, with, the, with the structural warranty as well. So this is like a five-year warranty. And the good thing about this is like, due to the, the positive reviews that we are getting from our existing owners, we seem to get a lot of referrals in our business. And in marketing, Referrals, they are like direct sales. They are the cheapest. You wouldn't spend much on them. It's like a word of mouth. If, for example, I tell you then, hey, Maria, you carry tough. Why should carry stuff this? You come to visit me there, and then you feel like, oh, my luma don't dig about tough and so on. Look at this house. Look how beautiful this is. You gave an impression out there. And whoever that you spoke to, obviously, for me as a salesperson, if I speak to that person, it will make it very easy for me to sell that person because he already he was impressed. He or she was giving some positive, positive information about the company. So referrals are key things in there. So this is why we felt like this is, a, this is the most important. Post sales is the most important part of it. It's not like the normal usual sales. You make your money and then commission is done and then you are gone. That's not how we do it in tough. And the other after-sales services that we also offer is the property management side. Remember, we have two set of people or buyers that we're dealing with. We have end users, like those who buy a house to live in there. We also have investors. They buy houses for investment purposes. Our property management offers a hassle-free service to them. They manage rent their properties and manage, uh, rent and manage their properties. 
So, um, key among the uh, among the after sales services are these these two. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, now let's talk about something very common, and then maybe, maybe um, uh, let's first hear your view. Mm. And, and obviously, as the MDC, or probably I'll also mm. come in, but <laughs> there is a common misconception that uh, tough homes are unaffordable. And uh, as a salesperson, what are your thoughts on this? I think, like you mentioned here, it's a misconception. My my point is that. People don't seem to understand the difference between social housing and affordable housing. Mm. At TAF, our focus is been making housing accessible and affordable. If you look at our current portfolio today, we're offering from $570,000 up to $8 million. And these are like from service plots, fence and gated service plots up to story buildings, bungalows, and so on. So we offer a range of properties. And then we'll expect everybody to come in there based on your pocket. So in a not sell, our target market has been middle and higher income. Right? And some key elements that one would also need to understand when you're making prices of properties is cost of land. TAF as a company got or sourced their land from the local market at the market price. So cost of land is quite high in the country. Cost of infrastructure, you have to put up the infrastructure. That's quite expensive, right? Cost of the building materials, these are all too high. We all understand the concept. And as a matter of fact, housing is never a cheap investment all around the world. It's a major investment and it's one of the most expensive investments. So you wouldn't expect housing to be that cheap. As far as staff is concerned, our focus has always been making housing accessible and affordable to everyone. And this uh, misconception of tough sand houses are not meant for average Gambians. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not tough's job to provide house to average Gambians. We have institutions here that should be able to do that. Those are for social housing. Mm -hmm. So that's for something else, somebody else or another institution. But tough as a private developer. So, yeah, okay, mm. that's true. I, I think yeah, this, is, this is quite a common um, uh, misconception. Mm. And um, obviously, as, as you know, I, I, I am very active in social media. And um, one out of many yeah. will come out with these type of comments. Mm. Uh, but I think also, there's nothing in this world that, that comes out, no matter how good it is, that, that some people will not think the other side yeah. uh, being negative. Uh, but even, uh, let, let, let's be tolerant and, and uh, listen. Uh, so generally it is said uh, that a glass can be seen half full or half empty. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, there's no, there's, no, there's no fixed response at times to some of things like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can still be right. Yeah. You know, so um, you can look at the glass and say, okay, it is half full. Yeah. And I can look at it, oh, it's half empty. It's half empty, yeah. So whilst we will say, yes, our houses are affordable, others can say it's not affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but this is not only in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. and, and I am speaking from um, uh, somebody who is an advocate on affordable housing in Africa. Okay. And we have, we have made a name and we, com we continue to advocate for this. Now... I went to a conference in, in South Africa, and it was organized by the African Union Housing Finance um, uh, uh, Organization. Mm -hmm. And um, we were asked to describe what affordable housing was. Mm -hmm. So uh, everybody laughed when I responded. I said, yeah. a house is affordable when you can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on the buyer, you know. Yes, and, and, yes. And, and, and I try to, at times, try to shift away from housing. Yeah. 
but let's look at our needs. I mean, housing is a need. Yeah. Just like uh, your transport need, mm -hmm. your food, your health care. Mm -hmm. You know, do you have so many, 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 many needs? Um, um, so um, we cannot differentiate on who we provide these houses for. What we do is, obviously, in any business that you do, what is important is cost. Yeah. Cost is there, mm -hmm. which at times you cannot control. Yeah. You have just explained that. Yeah. So one thing is cost, mm -hmm. and what you have on it are your margins. Yeah. You have margins that you add on. Mm -hmm. Now, the margins that you add on, it's your profit, profit. you know, and um, uh, profit at times it's um, uh, within a certain bracket. Yeah. So um, uh, that is controlled. Yeah. So um, I think as, as a company, we try to advocate uh, for the provision of affordable housing. And uh, again, there's nothing we can do yeah. that is relative. Yeah. Somebody who is earning less, Obviously, we look at our houses and say it's not affordable. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's not affordable yeah, to him. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing wrong about it. Yeah. And uh, we, I think we just want to state that we are committed. Mm -hmm. We are committed in making housing as affordable mm -hmm. as possible, possible within our means. Yeah. Something are beyond our means. For example, the cost of a bag of cement. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. The cost of labor. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. The cost of land, there's nothing that we can do about it. Yeah. But our margins, we will control. control that. Because if we don't control them, then it means that we are not affordable and that we are not competitive. Yeah. If we want to raise our margins and take them up, so generally people will not buy from us. Yeah. So our margins are slim, mm -hmm. you know, because we have to survive as a business. Yeah. But we just want to state that as a Pan-African housing developer, we will continue to advocate and to do everything possible to make our houses affordable, affordable. to all. Yeah. There's no distinction. Mm -hmm. Quite often I hear people say, oh, for us the poor people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if you, if you, if you really um, uh, classify yourself as poor, oh, yeah. if, then a lot of things you cannot afford in this world. Mm -hmm. You know, so... Um, um, uh, that's something that I also tell you, especially young people, that look, try to lift yourself out of poverty. Yeah. Or let us see how we can try to make you, you know, rich out of poverty, mm -hmm. create wealth. And once you create wealth, then you might be able to afford this. Yeah. And that can be done collectively yeah. um, uh, with other institutions, sure. yeah. uh, with government, you know, so that housing is affordable to all. Mm -hmm. And that was my own contribution. Now, uh, Mr. Sise, can you tell us what are some of the plans that you and your team have for this year? We are all excited, looking forward to having the Bena Estate um, uh, opened. Mm -hmm. We want to see the first people move into their properties in December of 2022. The second plan is I wish to sell of... Um, uh, did the estate so far? Uh, we've sold over sixty-five percent of it, and then I wish to make sure that um, uh, Didi is also sold out before the end of the year. Okay, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, Bena Estate and Didi Estate is in the tough city. Yes. Yeah. You know, the tough city is made up of um, uh, the first seven phase is, yeah. seven different estates, yeah. and the first estate is called Bena. It's been sold out, mm -hmm. and we hope that clients will move in by end of this year. Mm -hmm. And the second estate is called Didi. Yeah. And uh, Didi, 65% has been sold so, already. Yeah. So if you are there procrastinating, let me just do his job. Yes. So fast. quickly come, it's selling fast. <laughs> yeah. Now let's just move fast. Um, uh, what's your suggestion or words uh, uh, you have for our viewers, especially potential clients? I want to encourage everyone to come and buy a house, especially in tough city. Mm -hmm. You know, you gain value in it. And then go and buy the records. Those who bought a tough city already from lunch today have already got more than 20% appreciation values of their properties. Right? They have uh, over 20% um, appreciation value. And then having the luxury of living in the first smart 
an eco-friendly city in the country, the biggest one for that matter. You live uh, within, within, within a dream. You know, you have, you live, work and play around. We never have something like that. So having something like that or uh, moving, in, moving into some, uh, something like that is, is such an excitement. You know, and I will encourage everyone to come and um, enjoy the enjoy their part of this year. You know, they will get the appreciation value and also go and buy the records as well. If you, um, I mean, tough properties gain values quite, um, I mean, high values in a very short uh, period of time. Look at Dalaba today. A cost of a service plot today, you get over fifty percent appreciation value. So if you are an investor procrastinating you know where to invest your money. Here you have the opportunity. Come to Tough City, me, myself and my team will be here to assist you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, thank Mr. Sisse. Mm. It was lovely having you on the Tough Hub. I uh, would like to thank our viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was, this was an important uh, discussion, of course, just to give you an insight of what you need to expect, especially from the Tough City. Uh, like Mr. Ndiaye just said, probably before the end of this year, will have uh, people move into their homes and it's just wonderful uh, to experience the first city that is built in the Gambia. Mr. Jai. Thank you very much, Mariama. And yes, uh, Tough City is very close to um, uh, my heart and the team. Uh, and um, thank you, Sisi, for, for um, uh, this uh, session. Until we come your way again, please don't, find, don't, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel which is uh, Mustafa Njai dash uh, tough. Yeah. Thank you. Tough Africa Global presents the first eco smart city in the Gambia, the Tough City, located between Gunjur and Sifo. It is 30 minutes away from the Banjul International Airport. At Tough City, you will be able to live, work, play, and shop in a healthy multi-purpose community. This vibrant urban environment will meet your everyday needs with commercial, business, recreational, and other complementary services to increase the value of your home. With up to 5,000 units of affordable homes on a 500 hectare land, Tap City will be twice the size of Banjul. Prime location, stunning properties, and amazing discount of 20% for the first 50 buyers. Make an appointment today to secure your property. For more information, please call plus 220-776233 or plus 220-376-2333 or you can send an email to info at toughafricaglobal.com. Better still, visit our office at Madiwa Mall, Brewfoot Gardens Estate. Tough City, a green and smart city, accessible to all.